that music takes me back to my childhood. Uh, welcome to my next Let's Play. As you can see, it's off Roller Coaster Tycoon. I actually managed to get this for really cheap off goodoldgames.com. Uh, so, if you managed to get it off there, then well done you. If you already had it, then well done you. I did actually have this previously, but I'd lost the CD, so I had to sort of buy it again. But I didn't have the expansion pack, Corkscrew Follies and Loopy Landscapes, so that will be a new thing for us. Right, so I'm just going to jump straight in and explain as I go. So, you can see you've got your Roller Coaster Tycoon, the Corkscrew Follies and Loopy Landscapes, and then Real Parks and Extras. I want to start off with Roller Coaster Tycoon Original ones because they're the ones I know even though I never actually managed to finish all of them so once I get to about here I'll uh, start hitting ones that I've never even seen before so right Forest Frontiers have at least 250 guests in your park at the end of October year one with a park rating of at least 600 so you can see it's March so we need to get a move on Right, so the first thing we need to do is set up some research. Um, 200 pounds a month seems all right. I'm actually going to quickly turn on guest real names because I prefer that rather than guest number, number, number. And we need to build some things, right? So, of course, a theme park isn't exactly a theme park without any attractions. So, if we build this... Uh, this pirate ship and that can go there and my entrance and exit can go there all right and now we need some pathing queues you stick onto the queue exit uh, I'm gonna make that go there so I'm not gonna lose a bench because I prefer to lose a light than a bench because lights actually don't do anything apart from make your park look nice and then eventually some arsehole will put throw stones at them and smash your lights Right, so now we've got a attraction. I think we can open it, and the admission price is C. I'll make the admission price free. How much is this? One fifty. That sounds good enough. Generally, what you want to do is either have them pay when they come in and have rides at a discount, or have them come in for free and let them pay for rides. So I'm going to start off doing that. I may change that as the scenario goes on. So I'm going to build some scrambled eggs. Which is uh, not the wholesome breakfast that you might think it is. Right, then trees are in the way. I can't remember if you have to delete the trees first. Let's find out. Yes, you do. Uh, shows you how long it's been since I've played this game. Uh, plug that there. That can go there and that can go there. Right, so we need to extend that path there. Let's see. Wait. Undo that. Undo that. So I need the queue to go about that. Because a one length queue isn't really ideal. You want it at least two. And I've just realised nobody's coming because I haven't opened any attractions. There we go. Mohammed B has come. Let's see what he likes. Um, where's his preferences? There is none. Oh, right there. I was looking at it before. So he likes an intensity between 2 and 5 and has an average nausea tolerance. So, now that I've got people coming in, I'm going to want handyman. Plonk him there. You can either set them a path to patrol using that button. Or you can just have them walk randomly for now because it's not a big park and to be honest it's not going to really be a big park. You don't need to worry about that. Uh, although, uh, I'm going to take them off lawn mowing duties. Stop it. Stop. No. You just sweep litter. And let's see. How much is this charging? One pound. Um, right, let's see how research is coming on. A gentle ride. Hmm. Right. So we we'll want something for the thrill seekers as well. Um, 
so we could either jump in and build a roller coaster straight away which cost about £2,800 which is probably rather cheap uh, that's a nice uh, a nice small one uh, crazy caterpillar is probably the best because uh, that's what it looks like it's you can get default tracks or you can get ones which are pre-built I've uh, never seen these before these must be uh, from the expansion packs but you can't actually preview them you can only build them whoa that looks crazy no I don't want to build a custom design because my custom designs are normally bad they're normally uh, far too intense I wonder if I've got an umbrella thing nope uh, right build a bathroom there charge them 50p and let's see they want food as well so I build a burger stand there that's 150 that sounds all right and drinks you generally want to keep all your amenities together so they're not hunting all around like maybe you want to plonk like the general things like a, a toilet one food and one drink stand together but then throughout the park you might have dotted like a popcorn stall or something just just so they're not uh, too far away from any food source right let's see if there's been any progress made on this I'm actually going to Uh, what's maximum funding? £400 a month. I'm probably not earning enough money for that. Because I'm wanting to research umbrellas. Because once you get on the umbrella stand. You can charge through the nose for umbrellas. And it's a good way of making money. Right. So I'm going to carry on with uh, that roller coaster. Uh, and just build the crazy caterpillar. As you can see where that arrow is and where the where my cursor is, that's where the station's going to be. So I'm going to plonk that there, there, because the trees are in the way. Right, so the entrance can go there and the exit can go there. Because right, this is probably going to be quite popular. Do that. So that can go there and then that can go around and to the exit right, so test this make sure it works all right and what's the admission price two pound i'm going to make that 250. let's have a look right so we're waiting the test results generally for roller coasters you want to price it the intensity times 10. so if the intensity is uh wait well, the intensity in pounds I should say or in whatever financial unit so if the intensity of this is three and a half 3.5 you want to charge three pound fifty for it so we'll see what the test results come in as and that'll be able to tell us how to price it if you price it any more generally people won't pay it and if you price it any less you're not earning as much as you can so it's, um, so four point forty seven. Uh, I think I said intensity. I think it's the in excitement actually. So four pound forty. I'll go for. Right, that's open. And let's call this. Give me your money. Now you can see we've got people queuing for that now. And I might want to get another handyman to patrol exclusively there. Actually, no, nah, not yet. Because generally, if you've got a high intensity roller coaster like this is, this is quite a high intensity roller coaster, people will be sick as they're coming out. So you want a handyman to patrol the area where they come out. Right, well, that one's there. Uh, that one's away. I think I could probably bump up the price to maybe five pound. Yeah, give me your money. It might be the uh, 
intensity rating. I'm not going to charge six pound for that. That's a bit steep. You just look tired. He's got sixty pound in his pocket. That's the thing as well. If you charge too much for your rides, guests will run out of money fast, and they won't have any money to spend in your shop. In your shop, in your park. Right. Let's see how this is coming along. Ferris wheel. So due with the sixteenth of April. It's currently the tenth. How's my park rating? Seven six five, but I need two hundred and fifty guests. See what I mean about them being sick. Uh, so where's that handy man? You there? Get there. Clean that shit up. And if there's a lot of sick outside of a ride, guests will complain. Like he looks like he's going to be sick, but there's a bathroom right there. So if you want to be sick, be sick in the bathroom. Otherwise, I'm drowning you. That's a good thing as well, you could drown your guests. Hey, I see it like a, I see a good thing. That just makes us sound a bit uh, a bit crazy. <laughs> you can build bodies of water and drown guests. <laughs> Which is nice punishment I think. Come here to ride on me stuff, be sick on me path, you're getting drowned. Right, so that seems to be making a fair bit of money. Uh, what's the old colour scheme? So different colours per train. Train 1 and train 2 can be yellow and red. There we go. So now you can tell which one's train 1 and which one's train 2. Ferris wheel's been built so I'm going to take research off gentle rides and put it on the shops and stalls. And I'm going to build a ferris wheel right across from the roller coaster. So that goes there, entrance and exit. Right, so there we go, that and that, and open it. You don't even need to bother testing it. Bump that up to 120. Let's have a look at this. <laughs> Intensity ratings 127, excitement's 163. So I'll probably bump that up to 150. And that. Maybe two pound. But like I say, you won't be able to get away with this if you charge entrance fee into your park. It's either free entrance and cost for rides or charge them for entrance and a discounted price or free rides. They make your money off entrance fees and burgers. So 32 people on gimme your money um, I want to build a few bins as well around around there because people will litter and they're arseholes for it I'm not going to have a sign just for the hell of it saying Fuck off. <laughs> Simple things. Right, I'm going to have to employ another janitor. You are especially on litter patrol. Eh, uh, not litter patrol. You're on sick patrol. Sure he's there as well. Right, so you're patrolling just that patch. And actually, rather than having them just on, I can have them do everything apart from mowing the lawn. And then he can just patrol the rest of the area. Like so. So I've got. One handyman for this side of the park, one handyman for that side of the park. For now. <laughs> 